Hello everybody and welcome to Panda Creates Tutorials. I'm Panda and I have a very special Valentine's Day special for you. We are going to be doing a little bit of an experiment. Uh, I did see this picture recently so uh, on a Pinterest post so it is not my idea originally but I thought I would still give it a try. Basically what we're going to do is combine a wine glass and a coaster. So um, the idea I'm using this mold um, uh, it's the four coaster mold that has the coaster holder um, as well if you saw my previous tutorial it is up on my channel when I did a product review um, but I'm just going to be using the two smaller ones for this project um, uh, I got my mold from the United States but uh, LBB resin uh, did have them in stock so I will put her link in the description but basically the idea is to sit the wine glass in the mold like this so that when you demold it the coaster is actually attached to the bottom of the glass so I thought that was a really cool idea I um, thought I'd give it a try and because it's Valentine's Day obviously we're going to be using Valentine's Day colors now the glass that I am using comes in a pack of six I got them from Kmart but I cannot remember the name I do remember that they were $12 for the pack of six so they work out to be $2 a glass and what I'm going to be doing tonight, the first one we're going to be using the Rose Flakes from Glitter Your World combined with the Diamond Series, the Pink Diamond Series from, wrong way, Pixie Dust Pigments. Right. In the second one we're going to be using the Purple Flakes from Glitter Your World and we're going to pair that with the Passion Purple from Kiss My Art by Anna. Right, who has just relaunched so congratulations to Anna for her relaunch she was originally uh, together we create if uh, anybody has heard me mention her before she's the one that gave me all of those mica powders when I did the challenge to use all 20 in the one um, tutorial uh, she's now rebranded and is kiss my art a r t kiss my art by Anna so I'll leave her links in the description as well and then in both of them I'm going to use this really pretty white chameleon it is from pixie dust pigments it is her lilac and gold from the chameleon series now on a black base you would get a really pretty purple to gold shift because I'm not putting it on a black base it will stay white but I'm not sure if I can get it to show up on camera but you'll definitely see it once we demold it. It does have like a slight lilac to gold shift in it. So I'm going to put a little bit of this in there as well just to make it look a little bit wispy. I thought it would be cool. So I have mixed up. I am using Diamond Coat on this project. Um, usually with coasters I don't bother uh, using a food safe resin. I do use just a casting resin uh, in the hopes that none of my customers are actually putting their coasters in their mouths. Like you shouldn't be doing that cups go on the coasters so there's no direct food or drink contact with the coasters for this project however because I am putting the wine glass in it I'm not sure if it's really necessary um, but I am using a food safe resin for this project I'm using diamond coat from just resin at the moment which is a one-to-one -one ratio I mixed up 120 mils I know that these coasters take about 65 to 70 mils each but I am using the smaller ones and then with the glass base in there as well I'm hoping that 120 mils will be more than enough for the project so I'm just going to put one glass there just so I can remember that I'm using these two and I don't start pouring into these two because let's be honest that is a very high possibility so I have split my epoxy the 120 mils I've split into roughly the same amount in each these little shot glasses I have five shot glasses and then the leftover which is in here is what we're going to go ahead now actually I'm not going to be able to do that so I'm going to put it there so I remember I'm just going to put a little bit of the clear resin in the molds just to give me a little bit of a foundation um, I don't really want the flakes and the micas mixing too much um, and I also want to be able to put the glass in before we, we start decorating so I'm just gonna put what's left over in there I'm gonna use my handy dandy LBB resin I call them silicon brushes, um, the makeup brushes from the set that she sells, or they sell, sorry Jed, put them like 
this and I'm just going to spread the resin out so that the it covers it goes in all like the little nooks and crannies and I'm making sure that I have no bubbles now off camera before I started filming I actually did spray the bottom bits of my mold with uh, alcohol um, I just find that that helps reduce any bubbles getting trapped up underneath especially when you have like little jagged edgy bits very technical tonight with my terms the little jaggy bits it just it, it just helps to clear the um, bubbles out if you do find that you have a lot of bubbles in there anyway whoop I missed a spot Do that. Um, just go around with a little toothpick or even do I have it on hand I never do when I need it um, LBB resin have no I can't find it uh, have like a six pack of all different sizes um, they've got a tiny tiny little like thin paintbrush looking one you could use that to go around and pop your bubbles as well okay so I've got my epoxy in these two um, we're gonna mix all of our colors so we're gonna start with the rose grab my tweezers I'm just going to move all the other epoxy out of the way because if you've ever used flakes before um, you'll know that they like to fly everywhere so I'll just move you up just the tiniest little bit just so you can still see but I don't want my flakes going into the rest of my resin I will hold this up before I mix it just so you can see I just don't want to hold the container over where we've just poured the clear resin in case any stray bits fall out that should be enough they are the rose flakes from Goodyear World I'm gonna stir them straight into the epoxy and that is one color done so I am pairing this as I said at the beginning with the pink um, mica powder out of the diamond series from pixie dust pigments so I will leave the link for her down below as well um, I don't believe she has a website yet uh, so if you did want to order you will have to message her page on Facebook so we're mixing it with this one and the diamond series is a really pretty series it is a slightly larger cut of um, mica powder it's not like super ground up pigment like what you would expect mica powders and pigments to be they do it's the diamond series and she has another series as well but I can't remember it off the top of my head oh, the flash the flash series um, mix this in you'll see see how it's a slightly larger cut for a mica powder it actually looks like glitter It's not, but it's super, super sparkly. See that? If my camera will focus. I'm actually going to add a little bit more. Just because I want it more. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Opaque. I don't want it translucent when we put it into the clear epoxy. That is in camera the pink mica that we're using. Um, I might go ahead and pour. No, I won't. I'm gonna mix our white chameleon, and then we'll do the pink, and then I'll mix the purple and do the purple. Let's see if I can get it to come up on camera. See that. Nope, I can't. Oh, that's a shame. When the sun comes up tomorrow, we might have better luck. It's currently 10 past 10. There you go. 10 past 10 on Thursday night. So when I demold in the morning, hopefully, unless I can get it to... Nope, still not having any luck. But yeah, um, when it's not on a black base, it does have like a slight lavender 
it's pretty but I thought that that would work for both I'm move this out of the way for both the pink and the purple okay so we're going to do this one first move you down again now that I'm finished mixing okay so <clears throat> I am going to spray just with my alcohol I've just sprayed all around the base here and I'm going to get a forethought I should have ripped that off before I started filming so I know it's nice and clean okay and I'm gonna go ahead try and do this where you guys can see sorry and sit that in the epoxy now this will be a test to see um, whether my table is even or not because if I let this go you can see it move around and pushing the air down I've created a couple of bubbles so I'm just gonna get rid of that now okay so we're gonna go in with the pink first uh, the mica powder first sorry and I want to pour that the whole way around the top here just so we get that little bit of coverage before it all runs off the glass like so I'm gonna have to come up with a way to hold that in place I think okay so I'm gonna add my white the chameleon powder and I don't want as much as this of blurb blurb of this one sorry the other one Did go the right way around no it didn't there we go and then I'm gonna drop my flakes around the very edge wants to keep sliding so I think if I was to do this again I might um, put the glass down first and then pour the epo like the clear epoxy around it because it's quite slippery as I mentioned at the beginning I've never made this before I saw the idea and I thought, hey, I want to try that. I'm actually leaking up over the side. Maybe too much epoxy. But this is how we learn. And then this is how you learn, because then you don't have to <laughs> repeat my mistakes. Here we go. I don't want to play with that anymore. And I will go around at the end and clean it all up but that is our first one okay so I've gone to get it to come up and over the glass so that we've got this effect here and I will show you when I, I um, unmold it tomorrow what I mean um, we poured the pink first and then the white and then I've gone around the outside with the flakes okay and now we're going to do purple
So again, these are the purple flakes from Glitter Your World. Move you up just a little bit. I don't want. And being quite generous with how many I put in the epoxy because I want to create the clumps like this right I don't want it super sparse sparse um, if that's the look you are going for then maybe don't use so much oh no that one's no good now There's the purple ones. And we're going to mix them with passion purple. This passion purple is actually one of my favorite purples to use and I'll show you why in just a second. It is the most beautiful Cadbury purple. Look at that. Awesome. Okay, so again, I'm going to pick up my glass with a baby wipe so I don't put epoxy all over it. I'm just gonna spray it, the bottom of it again. And wipe it off and we're gonna sit her in oh this one's got no room that's okay this one doesn't move around as much but okay so we're gonna go purple first and maybe not put as much epoxy in I used everything of the pink and I think that's why I'm having trouble with it overflowing so much. So let's start. We want that to move but I want it running. See isn't that a gorgeous purple? I know my lighting really sucks in here when I'm filming at night time guys. So I apologise. The cough will be right now in the morning. Move that down again. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add this chameleon in now. Whoops. Hopefully encourage that purple to push out a little bit more. just going to spray this because it's got bubbles on it. I think I want to go through and add them into here. Let me do it the other way around. Just because there's no room. So I'm going to put them around the middle instead. Oops, sorry. Just bumped you all out of the way. Just adding the flakes all the way around. I'm adding a lot more to this one, obviously, because we're putting it in the middle. And then I think what I might do is add another little bit of the Passion Purple. a little bit just to push the flakes down and I hate being left-handed doing right-handed projects but we will manage alrighty righty. 
Oh, I forgot to mention it at the beginning of the video, so I'm going to mention it at the end. Uh, disclaimer, safety first, guys. Uh, if you are working with resin for long periods of time, like hours at a time, or you intend to work with resin long term, please make sure you put your safety first. That means every time that you go near resin, wear a full, uh, like a half face respirator mask that has the interchangeable filters, uh, wear gloves. Uh, I'm wearing an apron and wear an eye, ma uh, an eye mask, oh my goodness, uh, eye goggles. Uh, I don't wear eye goggles because I wear glasses and I don't wear my half face respirator mask in live videos um, or recordings because then you wouldn't be able to hear me. Um, but apart from that, I'm wearing my mask all the time. Um, please look after yourselves. Um, but now that I've mentioned my little spiel about safety, I'm going to wait for these two actually what I'm going to do most of these corners the passion purple's been pushed out into already but then there's just a like literally a couple and I know that when I demold it those just couple of little spikes are going to really irk me so I'm just going to go through with my silicon brush and encourage those colors that's better. There's still one, one just here. There we go. If they pull back out, well, there's not much we can do. But, there we go. So, glasses from Kmart, mold from LBB resin. In this one we have the flakes are from Glitter Your World. I'm just going to turn that this way. Hmm. I will have a play with that once I hit stop and see how I can make it stay. Um, but the flakes on both of them are from Glitter Your World. Uh, the pigments on this one, the pink pigment was from Pixie Dust Pigments and so was the Chameleon. On this one, uh, the purple pigment is from Kiss My Art by Anna. And then, of course, we use the same Chameleon from Pixie Dust Pigments. So I'm going to let these sit overnight. I will be back tomorrow morning to demold and we will see if my little experiment worked. Good morning everybody! It is now the morning. This has fully cured and we're going to demold these and have a look to see if my experiment worked. I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm just going to, sorry about my neighbours, I clicked record and he decided to start his whipper snipper. So that's him in the background. I'm just going to pull the mould away and lift out. Ta-da! Okay, so on this first one, I'm not sure if you can see, there's like a big bubble, big hole. So I think that's happened when, because we put the clear epoxy in first and then I pushed the glass down, obviously, you know how like the bottom of a wine glass has that little dip? I think that's that has had air caught in it. So I think, like I said last night, I think from now on I will put the glass in the mould and then pour around it and that will hopefully stop that from happening, right? But look at how pretty it is. I'll try and hold it at an angle where the camera can pick it up. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? So all of the purple and the chameleon in this one have all mixed together because of the way that we poured it and you can just see a little bit of the flakes. But besides that bottom being a bit dodgy, that's worked really well. Like I said, it was just an experiment, so like now you don't have to make the same mistakes as me. Do the same thing, I'm gonna pull around the mold and then this should lift up. And this one's perfect. Absolutely perfect. So I'm not sure why this one went a bit funny, but this one we've got the pink has been pushed right out to the edge. The foil is now sitting over the pink and then we've got our chameleon in the middle. But look at that. That's stunning. Oh, I'm so upset that this one didn't work, but that's okay. We know for next time. But look at that. Isn't that cool? I think they're pretty cool. But that is my Valentine's Day special, guys. Um, so just to recap, we're going to move... 
this is uh, a mold that I got from America, but I do know that LBB Resin did have them in stock at one stage. There are two bigger ones and two smaller ones. So we did use the smaller ones, but it really depends on the size of the base of your wine glass. Um, I do have, hang on, I'll just grab it. I do have these really big wine glasses, right? And as you can see, if I'd used these, it would have been a what no you can't see hang on <laughs> it would have been a really tight fit on this one and this one we can't even get it to sit flat so it all depends on the size of your base of your wine glass as to what kind of mold you need but I did use the this is the four coasters it comes with the little bit that you can make the stand for them as well and I used the two smaller ones uh, the wine glasses are just from Kmart. They come in a pack of six for $12. Um, and then on this one, we used uh, the pink from the Diamond series from Pixie Dust Pigments. Uh, her chameleon, which is, I think, the lilac and gold, I said. Um, but from her chameleon series. And the rose flakes from Glitter Your World. And on this one, we used uh, the purple flakes from Glitter Your World with the same chameleon, the lilac to gold chameleon from Pixie Dust Pigments and Passion Purple from Kiss My Art by Anna. And they are my Valentine's Day experiments. What do you guys reckon? If you can leave a comment and let me know what you think, whether you have any tips or tricks if you've tried something before and can tell me if I'm right by thinking that this is a big ugly air bubble. Um, if you're gonna give it a go yourself, please leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe. My February goal is 250 subscribers. I think I've got about 22 people to go. So please make sure you hit that subscribe button and support Australian made content. Otherwise, thank you so much for joining me. I had a lot of fun making these. Um, I'm gonna go ahead now and just fine tune my process and hopefully this can become a thing for my customers. Have a wonderful Valentine's Day, you guys, and I will see you next time. Bye.